Hello, hello, class. How are you? Good evening. Good evening to you. Welcome back. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you. Nice to see you guys. Let me see. ¿Cuántos estamos ya? Um, 16. Okay, muy bien. 16 students already. How was your day? Was it good? Was it bad? Tell me about your day. How was it? ¿Qué tal su día? It was, it was great, but... It was great. A little uh -huh. tired. Really? A little tired. I know, I can't imagine. <laughs> yes, same here, you know? But we are ready for this class. Remember to have your cameras on. Si alguien tiene problemas con su cámara, nos dice para... Que quede aquí en la grabación de que justificaron. Ok, section number two. Estamos en la sección dos, ¿verdad? Hasta hoy, ¿qué hemos repasado? ¿Quién se acuerda de los temas que hemos visto? What have we been covering? El primer tema que vimos era adverse of oh. adverse frequency of frequency. 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 The simple past. The simple past. Ayer vimos el simple past. Questions simple we have. Simple present. Mm -hmm. The Verb to be. Uh, verb to be. Great. So before we continue, let me show you the topic. Miren que tenemos acá. The past of verb to be. Siempre vamos a ubicar el tema, el pasado. Ayer vimos el pasado con dos estructuras. We were having these questions interrogative form with the simple past. What type of interrogative form were we practicing? Using the auxiliary D and using WH words. Esas son las dos formas que vimos ayer. Usando el auxiliar D y una WH word. Okay? Y ahora vemos una forma más del pasado. Que sería que the past of verb to be. Um, the same here. Vamos a ubicarnos con interrogativas. Okay? Interrogative, some affirmative examples and some negative examples using the past of verb to be. But before we start, look what we have here. Para que practiquemos pronunciation. I have this for you today, class. It's going to be a thumb twister. Do you know what a thumb twister is? ¿Quién sabe qué es un thumb twister? Well, in Spanish, it's like uh -huh. a trabalengua. Es un trabalengua. Are you good or bad at something? Miren mi pregunta, a ver si la reconocen. How good are you at song twisters? Estamos practicando las estructuras que ya vimos. How good are you at thumb twisters class? How good are I you? I am so so. <laughs> so so, okay. Who is excellent at thumb twisters? I am oh, bad. Teacher. You're bad? <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Ah, okay, so everybody is going to practice. Vamos a irle perdiendo el miedo a equivocarnos a aprender, ¿ok? Y esta es una forma muy efectiva. Thumb twisters. Le va a ayudar a desenredar la lengua. Look, what we have here. Tenemos una forma interrogativa. Bueno, dos formas interrogativas. It says, do you do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. One more time. Do you want paper, paper? Paper or paper, paper, paper. 
which is cheaper. I want paper, not paper, if paper is cheaper than paper. Slow, now slow. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper, paper or paper, which is cheaper. I want paper, not paper, if paper is cheaper than paper. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to listen to you. Vamos a ver. How do you feel this tongue twister? Este es un término medio. Tengo unos más fáciles. But right now, este es un like intermediate tongue twister. We are going to compare uh, two sounds, paper and pepper. So who's ready to start? ¿Quién está lista para empezar? Don't worry, okay? I know you can do it, class. Who's ready to start? Excellent job, Romeo. Y Romeo va a elegir al siguiente y así vamos a ir, and so on, okay? So Romeo, relax, class. Romeo va a empezar y él elige el siguiente. So everybody needs to be ready. Go, Romeo, I know you can do it. Three, two, and one. Okay. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper, pepper or paper, which is cheaper? I want pepper, paper. If pepper is cheaper, then paper. Okay, class. Um, How did you feel it? Do you want it to say that again? Repeat. Was it good? Was it excellent? Lo calificamos todos. How was it? Excellent. Excellent. Voy a hacerlo primero muy bien. So, Romeo, who's next? Who's next? Let me see. Uh, Jose Alberto Enrique Guillén. Jose Alberto. Okay. okay. Do you want? Okay. Are you ready? Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper or pa paper? Is paper or sh is shaper than paper? Okay, class. Good. Repeat or so excellent. So solid, yeah. So solid. Okay, pongamos esa categoría. Me encanta esa categoría. So solid. So great. Relax. Saben que yo siento que los nervios los atacan porque está fácil el tongue twister. Okay, primer clase. La segunda clase ya no se las perdono. José Alberto, who's next? Okay. Vamos a el femenino, déjenme ver. Ok, yo creo que eso es venganza. No, porque vamos dos varones. ¿verdad? Ok, ah, pues. Las damas. Where are the ladies? Let me okay. show. Te ayudo. Who? Genesis. Genesis, are you ready? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. That's the attitude. Go, please. Do you want paper, 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 or paper, which is cheaper? I want paper or paper, not paper, if paper is cheaper than paper. That was great. Excellent class. What is your opinion? Excellent. Excellent. Excellent, Excellent Genesis. Who's next? Is it a girl or a boy? Mm, let me see. The next is Carla Stephanie Rivera de Alberto. Okay, Carla, are you ready? Uh, do you want paper or paper? Pa paper or paper, paper or paper, which is cheaper? I want paper or pa not paper. If paper is cheap, cheaper than paper. <laughs> How was it, class? Good, excellent. So, so, repeat. Yes, yes. So, so, yo le voy a hacer caso, se me dicen repeat. Vamos a hacer repeat. Class, what is your opinion? Excellent. Oh, yeah, la salvaron. Right. Excellent. Qué buenos compañeros <laughs> son. Excellent. <laughs> Carla, who's next? Eh, Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. Jorge, go please. Okay, teacher. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper, which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper, not paper. 
if paper is cheaper than paper. Okay, relax, 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 okay. What is this class? Do you know what this is in Spanish? What, 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 is, what is this? Pimienta. This is an spice, pimienta. So, yes. pepper, pepper. Se parece mucho a paper, pepper. So, do you want pepper or paper? So, Jorge, once again, please. Again, Jorge Alberto. Sería Leticia. No, no, you, you. Porque escuché pepper, y es pepper. Vale, otra vez, pepper. Jorge, y luego. Sí, sí. Ah. Do you want paper? No, pepper. Pepper or paper. Wait, wait, wait. This is paper, paper, papel. Do you want paper or paper? Do you want paper or no? Do you want to paper or paper? Uh -huh. Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper. Uh, paper, not paper. paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Than paper, okay. Relax, class. No se van nerviosos. Who's next, Jorge? Who is next? Los que tengan la cámara apagada, Jorge. Eh, ah, okay. Ya había <laughs> elegido a, a alguien. Eh, Mayra Xiomara. Ah, Mayra. Mayra, are you there, Mayra? Or are you at work? <laughs> go please, I know you no can veo la, no, no, here veo we la. go. Now, now you have it. Okay. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Okay. Paper or pe paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Great job, Mayra. Who is next, Mayra? Maybe alguien for. Mm -hmm. Who is next? No le comprendí. ¿Quién sigue? Who's next? Ah, okay. Look, I have so many volunteers. Este quiero ver. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Ok. Vean bien quién va a participar, chicos. Desde ya elijan a alguien. Faltan varios. Go, please. Here we go. Ahí están. Muy bien. Go, please. Esmeralda. Hello, teacher. Hello. Eh, tengo que leer porque ahorita justo voy entrando. Mm -hmm. Sí, claro, lea el tongue twister. Do you want paper or paper? Paper um, or paper, paper okay. or paper, which is cheaper. I want paper, no paper, y paper is cheaper than paper. Solo que hágalo a su ritmo, vamos. Ok. Eh, tongue twister one. Yes. Do you oh. want paper or paper? Paper or paper, paper or paper, which is paper. I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Class, saben que eso, eso pasa con los tongue twister. ¿Qué escucha acá? Which is? Which is paper? Which is cheaper? cheaper. Yeah, which It's is cheaper. cheaper. Great job. Esmeralda, elija alguien. ¿Quién sigue? Jessica. <laughs> Jessica, go please. Okay. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. Is pepper is cheaper than paper? Wow, that was great, Jessica. Who's next? I have Wendy um, and Francisco. They they want to participate. Um, Wendy, Paola. Go, please, Wendy. Thank you. Okay, um, do you want paper or paper, paper or paper, paper or paper, 
which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Okay, paper okay. is cheaper than paper. Excellent, Wendy, who's next? Who is next? Excuse me? Who's next? Quien sigue? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't you, worry. Professor. No, you're welcome. Bien, Francisco, Antonio, go ahead, please. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Great. That was great. Francisco, who is next? Pick a volunteer, um, please. Ivan Ibrahim. Ivan, I know you can do it. Go, please. Hi, here we go. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or, or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. That was excellent. Excellent, Ivan. Pick another volunteer, please. Oh, Alex, is that what I, Alex? I don't know. Let me look for him. Alex, Alex, okay. Alex. Sorry. Okay, there Jose you are. Alexander. <laughs> No, please. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. Is pepper cheaper than paper? Great job. Who's next? Alex. Pick another volunteer. Jose Alexander. Uh, Claudia Rebecca. Claudia, go please. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper, that that than paper. Not paper. Excellent, Claudia. Pick another volunteer, please. Let me help you, Karina. Okay. Who is missing? Los que le faltan, levanten su mano para que los compañeros lo identifiquen rápido. Because everybody is going to participate. That is your goal for today. So that's your speaking practice from today. I'm still missing Carlos, Edwin, Elizabeth. Who else? Hmm? Maria. Okay. Dolores. Maria, are you ready, Maria? Yes, I'm ready. Go, please. Three, okay. two, and one. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Okay, okay. Class, remember paper, 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 no paper. paper. Okay, great job. Pick another one, Maria. Another volunteer. Uh, Luis Eduardo Mendez. Okay, Luis. Okay. Go, Luis. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, no paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Okay, excellent, Luis. Who's next? Uh, Karina Alejandra. Go please, Karina. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? With with is cheaper. I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than pepper. Than paper, excellent. Karina, pick another one. Uh, Maritza. Go please, Maritza Elizabeth. Uh, we cannot hear you. Can you try it again with your audio? Probably it's your microphone. Ahora? Now we can. Go please. Okay. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, no paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. 
Gun paper. Okay, excellent. Who's next? There I have Edwin, Carmen Set. I have Melissa. I have Andrea, Catherine. Edwin, oh. teacher. Edwin. Go, please, Edwin. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper yes. or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Great job, Edwin. Pick another volunteer. Melissa. Go, please, Melissa. Okay. Uh, do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Wow, that was amazing. Excellent, Melissa. Who is next? Um, Andrea. Andrea Gabriela, go please. One, pe pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or paper, which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper, that paper. Down paper, excellent. Andrea, who is next? Leticia Aide. Leticia, are you ready? <laughs> okay. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper, paper or pepper, which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper, then paper. It's cheaper than paper. Excellent, okay. Leticia. Who is going to continue? Um, Catherine. Catherine, go please. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper, paper or paper, which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. Is if paper is cheaper than paper. Than paper, okay, Catherine. Who is going to continue? Carmen said. Go, please. Okay. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper? Than paper, excellent. Okay. I guess I'm still missing a couple of you. Yo no participé, teacher. Okay, so Jennifer is next. Who else? Who is still missing? Don't be afraid to participate because I'm listening to your pronunciation as well. También para eso me sirve, para escucharlos. So, is Jennifer the last one? How about you, Carlos? Carlos Edgardo, y no dice nada, ¿eh? Carlos. ¿Quién más me falta? Bajé la mano muchas veces porque nunca me tomaron en cuenta. Ajá, lo que pasa es que cuando <risa> compartimos pantallas solo se ven dos o tres camaritas. So, Jennifer and then you, Carlos. No se me queden atrás. Vamos, go please. Do you want paper or paper, paper or paper, paper or paper, which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. Is it paper is cheaper? Um, paper. Okay, great, Jennifer. Carlos, go ahead, please. Gracias, gracias teacher. Okay. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Than paper. Okay. Who is still missing? Nobody. Okay, you know. Como fue la primer clase con un tongue twister, lo hice individually. Probably next week, I will bring some other uh, tongue twisters. Pero lo van a practicar ya en parejas para que puedan mejorar su habilidad. Don't be afraid. Saben que los tongue twisters es una buenísima forma de, uno, perder el miedo. Dos, eh, desenredar la lengua. How do I improve pronunciation? ¿Cómo creen que se mejora la pronunciación, clase? How do you improve pronunciation? Uh -huh. Ejerci ejercitando el qué creen que nos ayuda a pronunciar mejor. La lengua. La lengua, exactamente. Depende de dónde posiciono la lengua, si lo hago correctamente, 
así va a mejorar mi pronunciación porque se llaman tongue twister me ayudan a desenredar el que la lengua entonces perfectísimo búsquense un montón de tongue twisters practiquenlos les va a ayudar a aprender a posicionar la, la lengua moverla rápido no hay otra forma de mejorar pronunciación que mover la lengua rápido, posicionarla correctamente, ok? So that is a, an advice for you, ok? You did a great job, class. You did an amazing job with pepper and paper. Pepper and paper, right? So the topic that we have for today, it's about the path of bird to be, eh? pero antes de compartirlo, ya lo vieron. Can you tell me what is the path of bird to be? What is the path of bird to be? Was and where. I was and where. Ya lo vieron. How about uh, the present form of the bird to be? Um, uh -huh. is is. Huh? Are. One, one more time. No los escuché. Once again. Um, are and is. Um, is okay, is um, are. is are, um, as. No, no importa el orden. What I want you to remember and not forget is whenever we are talking about the past, we are just going to have two forms. Si es cierto que en el presente tenemos tres formas del verb to be, but whenever to talk about the past, we are just going to have two. So, ¿cómo se divide? Entonces, o ¿cómo agrupo? ¿Quiénes van con was? ¿Y quiénes van con where? ¿Qué sujetos? ¿Me pueden decir? Was. Segunda persona con where y tercera persona con what. Ok, but can you give a little bit more specific, please? This is just a review. What? Segunda persona. Singular. Person. You. It's what? You. You with you? they. You is with. No, no, no. No, 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 with no, no. I'm asking you with what? She. I. She. He. I. He. I was, exactly. She was. He. He, he was. He, he. And it. He. In the case of where? You, you, we, and they. You, we, and they. That's it. Mm, excellent. I was, she was, he was, and it was. You were, we were, and they were. That's it. Okay, está claro eso. How do we make questions? It is easy when I practice. Okay, what was that? <laughs> what was that song? When I practice making affirmative statements into interrogative statements. Es más fácil si hago esto. For example, if I tell you, um, Monica, was in California. This is an affirmative. ¿Cómo la convierto a interrogative class? How do I make this affirmative into an interrogative? Was Monica in California? Mm, okay, was, and then I have the subject, and then I have the complement. Am I missing anything? Así está bien, Maggie. The question mark. There we go. Question the mark. Question mark. Si no hay question mark, no es una pregunta. No, no es question. Uh -uh, it's not a question. That's it. Así de simple. Igual, siempre tengan el cuidado del punto al final de la oración. So, hacemos esto. Look. Is in affirmative, we have the subject, verb to be, complement. Interrogative. Verb to be, subject, and complement, and the question mark, right? So, les digo algunas afirmativas y las hacen interrogativas, ok? Um, ok, let me see, I have them, las tengo escritas para que no me las vean, here we go. I am going to tell you some and then you're going to make questions. Right, are you ready? Uh, did I check the attendance? Ya revisé la, la, la... No, 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 teacher. Teacher. no teacher. So let's do no, that teacher. before. <laughs> Antes que olvide eso. 
please say here or say present because I need to check the attendance list. Ok, este es el grupo de 8 a 9. Andrea Gabriela. Present Ok, Andrea. Carlos Edgardo. Present teacher. Excelente, Carmen y Seth. Present. Ok, Claudia Rebeca. Present. Thank you. Edwin Edgardo. Present. Excellent. Esmeralda Isabel. Esmeralda Isabel Vázquez. Francisco Antonio. Here, teacher. Okay, Francisco. Genesis Ariel. Here. Okay, Genesis. Ivan Ibrahim. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Okay, Jennifer Tatiana. Present teacher. Okay, and okay, Jennifer, Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Jorge, excellent. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, Jose, Jose Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Karina Alejandra. Present. Okay, Karina, Carla Lisset. Carla Lisset Martinez. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Ok, Carla, Catherine y la Sema. Present. Ok, Catherine. Leticia Aide. Present. Ok, Leticia, Linda Beatriz. Present. Great job. Oh, Carla Lisette, there you are. Thank you, Carla. Luis Eduardo. I'm here. Ok, Luis, Mayra Xiomara. Ok, Mayra, María Dolores. I am here. Excelente, Maritza Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok, Melissa Stephanie. Present teacher. Excelente, Romeo Vladimir. Present. Ok, Romeo, Wendy Paola. I am here, teacher. Excelente, Wendy, and Jessica Esmeralda. Present teacher. Ok, Jessica. Alguien que no logró responder, si no, solo me hace falta Esmeralda Isabel. Esmeralda Isabel. Excellent. So, affirmative. Y ustedes me las hacen negative. Ok. Here we go. We were at the school. We were at the school. Make we it. We school. weren't at school. Esa es la afirmativa. Háganme la interrogativa, por favor. We were at the school. Were we at the school? Great job. Uh, Tina. You say that and we have to do negative. No, but now, I'm sorry. Did I? Really? So my mistake, yeah. my bad. Yes. So I confused that. Yeah. I'm going to tell you an affirmative and you make it question form, interrogative. Tina was okay. at home. Tina was at home. Was Tina, Tina at, at home? home? One was more Tina time. Tina. Okay. Was Tina. Was he Tina. was happy. He was happy. Was he happy? Was he happy? Was he, was he happy? happy? Okay. You were very busy on friday you were very busy on friday were you very busy on friday were you very busy on friday i was in the museum i was in the museum was i was in was the museum was i in the museum jessica and kimberly were late for school. Jessica and Kimberly were late for school. Were Jessica and, were and Kimberly uh, late of the school? Okay, uh, can you repeat? Excellent. Si no entiendo, claro. Teacher, can you repeat? Jessica and Kimberly were late for school. 
Okay, thank you. Where Jessica, Where Jessica and Kimberly late Kimberly. for school. Okay. Something that I want you to notice. Okay, veo que sí sabemos cómo hacer interrogative statements, but look, the pronunciation, the emphasis in pronunciation. ¿Qué pasa cuando tengo statements con el verbo to be? ¿Será que la entonación sube o la entonación baja al final? Were you in California? Sube. Were you in California? Sube baja. o baja? So it's rain, rise, rising in solution. Not, uh -huh, muy bien. Was the weather okay? Were you and your cousin on vacation? Were your parents there? Okay. Todas inician con qué? Con? Where? El bird to be. In this case, the pass of bird to be. <sighs> Where? Pero qué pasa cuando ya no tiene el verbo to be al inicio? Look, what is it going to happen? It's going to go down the intonation. Fall. How long were you away? How was your vacation? Okay. Acuérdense de la intonación también. Of course, if we have questions, what do we need to have? Short answers or... Um, I can also have the full form of the answers, right? But in this case, it's very easy. And I want you to be careful with this one. Whenever we have this type of questions, aquí si no aplica para todas, si me preguntan con where, respondo con where. No, tenemos que ser cuidadosos. Were you in California? This is a personal question. Me la están preguntando, entonces yo no voy a responder. Yes, I were. ¿Qué digo? Yes, I. I was. Was. I ¿Por was. qué cambia entonces la forma del verbo to be a la hora de responder why? ¿Por qué cambia? Porque Were you si in California? Lo pregunta, ah, no se pregunta a persona. There we go. Uh -huh. Cuando damos personal information, tenemos que Hacer referencia a nuestra persona usando was. I was. Were you in California? Uh -huh. Yes, I was. Ahora preguntamos sobre algo. El clima. Was the weather okay? Affirmative. Yes, it was. Negative. Mm -mm. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. Now look. Plural form. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Si me incluye? We. Yes, we were. Were your parents there? Mm -mm. No, they weren't. Weren't. Se pronuncia en una sola sílaba. Practiquemos. Esto es una sola sílaba. Weren't. No, weren't. they weren't. weren't. No, they weren't. weren't. Ah, no, si dicen they weren't. weren't, ahí escucho dos, es una. Weren't. 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 No, they weren't. ¿Qué weren't. opinan de wasn't? ¿Cuántas sílabas escuchan? Wasn't. Wasn't. Escucha más largo, ¿verdad? Pero en caso de weren't, Es una forma weren't. bien reducida, bien corta, incluso la pronunciación. No, they weren't. Wasn't. Okay. So that is the short form. Because here suena más larga la pronunciación. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. Another example. Asking personal information. How long were you away? I was. I was because it's personal information, right? In the case of um, the contractions, the short form, we can have the short form of wasn't, or I can also use the complete form. ¿Cuál es la más común y cuál suena más natural? Of course, the contraction. In English, it's very common if you hear this type of contractions, right? Suena más natural. Para todo estamos usando la short form. 
And of course, it's not only in written form. Lo más común es in speaking time, right? Pero también en la forma escrita es muy común, the short form. Okay, questions about this? Si no, vamos a la plataforma para practicar. Questions about this? Questions with um, the past of birth to be. Si no, tal vez surgen no acá en la plataforma. Sure. No questions, right? I guess this topic no is not that difficult. No es tan difícil. So, if you notice, if you go to section number two, there we are going to find some examples. Okay, let me look for your course. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma, clase? Did you finish already? No, teacher. So, okay. So, this is the time for you to finish. Yo tengo problemas en uno, no, no me sale. Okay. From section number one or section number two? Number two. Okay, that's all right. This is what we're going to cover right now. Thank you. You're welcome. So as you may see here, we have section number two. We have this one. 2.4. Esto lo hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? Yeah, it's dawned. This is a listening practice. What did you do last night? Ayúdenme a identificar la estructura del pasado que estamos ocupando acá. Look, ¿qué tipo de estructura es? Es una pregunta. ¿Qué tipo de pregunta es? What type of question is? WH question. It's WH. WH, okay. Can I answer this Pero one with a yes and no? ¿Puedo responderla con yes and no? No, because you no. have to give more details. You need to give some extra information, okay? Who has a question? Who said I have a question? Exactly. What did you do last night? So this is a very short listening. Let me see if I can play this audio from here. No, I need to open this. Okay, so let's listen carefully so we can have the correct responses. Ready? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Listen, please. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Okay, John and Check Laura. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, Wendy, do you have a question or comment? Yes, teacher. Um, I have a problem in number 2.11. 2.11. Okay, yes. that is going to be the next one. Thank you. Okay. So, Thank you. just by listening, who had a boring time? Was it Laura, John, or both? John. John. Why? John. Can you give me some examples? Why is it that he had a boring time? Mm. ¿Qué detalle dio? He was mentioning. Because he, he hates hate soccer. soccer. Ah, uh, they were, uh, they were having like conversations about sports. And he doesn't really like soccer. Okay, what else? That's it. He saw boring videos all night. Okay, so if John had a boring time, who had a good time? No. Laura. Of course. No. Who met Laura. an old friend at that party? Who met a, an old friend? Laura. 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 Was she Laura. exactly? Who got home late? 
But, but, but. Are you sure? Yes. What time? Yes, Did yes, they mention sure. the time? Were they specific? The midnight. Exactly. Yes. At yes. midnight. They were not being specific. Yeah, but say. Vaya, miren, cuando hablamos de eh, expresiones de tiempo, lo correcto es at. At midnight. In solo lo ocupamos para in the morning. In the, in the afternoon. afternoon. Pero cuando es night, midnight, at night, at midnight. ¿Ok? Entonces, in the midnight, not really. ¿Cuál es lo correcto? At. At midnight. Midnight. Bien, clase. Great job. Let me also, see. Veamos. Uh -huh. In the evening. In the evening. Esa me faltaba. In the evening. Thank you. You're right. I guess this was a very easy example in exercise. Aquí vamos, Wendy. What are the instructions? Remember to use the pass of verb to be. ¿Y cuál es el pass of be? Was and where. A mi parecer es fácil completar. ¿Cómo hago para saberlo? Fácil. Identifico primero el qué. Miren. El sujeto. Subject, person, subject, yes, subject, subject. ¿De quién están hablando? Si yo sé cómo sustituir parents por un pronombre, mucho más fácil. How do you replace parents for a pronoun? ¿Qué pronombre sería? Instead of parents. They. 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 And what is the form of verb to be for they? Where. 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 Entonces tenemos Where. how long. Toda esta es una WH expression. ¿Qué le sigue? La forma del verbo to be. How long. Ok, uh, give me a where. second. Your parents. How long were your parents in Europe? Y aquí miren. Kim me lo está diciendo. ¿Cuál es la forma pasada? Where. Was where. or where? Where? We're there for two they weeks. Were. Mm -hmm. Richard, disculpe. Dígame. Este, número uno. No me quiero I... quedar con la duda de la pronunciación de Europa. Europe. 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 Yes, excellent. Vamos con la número tres. Romeo, go please. Y me, diga, me dice por qué, me justifica por qué su respuesta es esa. Oh, Because uh, we have they. Mm -hmm. And so what or where? In London. Remember, where? as it is the beginning, we need to have capital. Yes. Were they in London the whole time? Whole time. Were they in London the whole time? ¿Cómo? Estoy iniciando con una WH. No, perdón, con was or where, sí la puedo responder con yes and no. Entonces, no, they. Ajá, acá. Weren't. 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 O, no, they weren't. Depende, si weren't quieren poner not. were not or weren't. No sé cuáles acepta la plataforma. Probably weren't. Or, no, they weren't. Yes. Or Ajá. we aren't. We aren't. Ah, ok. So, no, they weren't. They also went to Paris. Number five, Francisco Antonio, go please. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Um, ¿A quién le están dirigiendo esta pregunta? ¿Será una personal question? Me la yes. están preguntando. Yes. Algo así se nota, yes. ¿verdad? Entonces respondo, yes. no, I weren't, no, I were, o ¿cómo respondo? No, I wasn't. Ah, ¿Será que eso les estaba dando problemas? ¿No? no. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Los Angeles last weekend. Mm -mm. No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. ¿Cómo estuvo? ¿Cómo pregunto eso, Iván? How, how was how was it? How was it? ¿Por qué? How la was. forma correcta para ir es was. How was it? Was. And how was it? ¿Cómo estuvo? How was, how was it? it? Edwin, how was it? It was great. It was great. But oh, miren cómo estuvo el clima. It was 
Foggy. Nubloso. Foggy. Foggy. What is Nubloso. foggy? Nubloso. Nubloso. Cuando hay Niebla. neblina. Niebla, exactly. Niebla. It was foggy. Okay, it was foggy. My mistake. Okay, um, Genesis. Number nine. Were you away last week? Great job. Were you away last week? Were you away last week? Carmen Lisette. Yes, I was in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. That's it. Veamos cómo nos va. And that's it. ¿Les quedó así también el ejercicio? Yes. Yes. Acuérdense. Yes. Yes. Las mayúsculas. Siempre es necesario ponerlas. Ok, wait. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Y ahí está. Do we have any other? ¿Será que hay? No, ¿verdad? Ah, I'm still missing this one. Ah, and this is another listening. What do we need to do about this? We need to listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. So in this case, acá a veces son específicos. Miren, typing full, full answers. No solo quieren la forma corta. Y que dice, do not forget to type a period. ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Punto final. Punto final. ¿Cómo se llama el punto, punto que va en medio de la oración? ¿Quién se acuerda? Period es punto period. final. Period. No, no solo es period. Hay diferentes tipos de puntos en puntuación. Dot. Dot. Muy bien, clase. Dot. So dot, punto que va en medio de la oración. Period, punto final. Right? So do not forget to type a period. Y si se fijan, no dice to write. ¿Qué nos dice tú? To type, porque esa es la acción que estamos haciendo. Typing, we're typing. So, where did Jason go? Did he enjoy it? Where did Barbara go? Did she enjoy it? Carl, eh, Francisco, dígame. Es bien curioso, señor, porque eh, dice que eh, se escriban las la respuestas eh, amplias, ¿verdad? Pero en la primera yo tuve problemas porque... Solo era San Francisco la respuesta, no necesitaba ampliar. No necesitaba más información. ¿Quién más no. le dio ese, ese problema? Vaya, ya les voy a... Sí, bueno, sí. quizás aceptaba ambas, pero si dice completa, escribamos completa, right? Completa, sí. Sí, tuvimos problemas, al menos yo escribí completas, como cinco frases completas y no me dio ni una. Igual. Hasta que se hizo una respuesta corta, short answer, Ajá. y dio... Y la digo positiva. Vaya, sí, yo les ayudo. Que quebró la cabeza. <ríe> Ahorita lo hacemos. Don't worry. Creo que está, está corto el listening. Vamos a escuchar. Porque yo no lo he escuchado. No me acuerdo ya creo about this one. Let me listen to it, please. Here we go. Listening. Welcome back. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Okay. Complete the chart. Jason, hi. Welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the no gym every day, si and I lost nada. three pounds. Well, that's okay. great. Good for you. That's it. So, where did Jason go? ¿Cómo lo pusieron ustedes? Like this one? O solo San Francisco? He went to San Francisco. Solo San Francisco. Incluso en el sitio se le pone el punto final y de igual manera estaba incorrecto. That's weird. Let me see. And she stay home. Las demás son con yes, no. She stay home. Me la aceptó. He went to San Francisco. Where did the period go? 
¿Qué se hizo el pionero? Se hizo los San Francisco. No, sí, right. Period. Okay, let me do something. I am not supposed to do this, but I'm going to. <laughs> look, 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 look. Ah, oh, miren lo que pasa acá. San Francisco. <laughs> Why? Error de plataforma. Error de plataforma. Ahorita pido que la corrijan. Porque si está correcta, incluso a mí, San Francisco. Yes, no, para no mí, yes. Esto no es correcto para mí. Solo decir yes. Mm -mm. Yes, como he did. Sería yes, he did. Esta es la forma corta. Yes, he did. Esto. Es muy latino. Sí, no, respondemos. Nunca damos como más información. Very informal. Very informal, right? Yes, and what is the difference between this one and this one? The space, right? Hay un espacio, creo, extra in here. En la pri en las de, de... Yes. <laughs> so, Second please, option. voy a pedir que corrijan este ejercicio porque even to the teacher, hasta la teacher, me lo pusieron ahí. Soy class. ¿Vieron las opciones? ¿Se las pongo otra vez? Yes. Did you get the answers? ¿No? ¿Pudieron copiarlas? Yes, no, teacher. Okay, you show me. Okay, please. <laughs> show yes. it again, please. Okay, vamos. Don't worry. Las pongo y las vamos a empezar. Yes, she did. Here we go. And this is the one. Yes, he did. Igual acá me hace falta un espacio. Si sí, la gramática tiene que ser bien, bien, este, bien detallada, si ¿sí, no. Vaya está, miren chicos. Y San Francisco, voy a pedir que la corrijan. Solo póngale San Francisco, ¿ok? Solo San Francisco lo acepto. San Francisco, Sin no. Punto. Francisco. Sin punto, period. really, without the period. Ok, that's it. Tómense un minutito para copiarla. Y class, ¿será que nos vamos a ver mañana? ¿Ah? Yes, right? Igual. No, teacher. Ah, ahí sí me activan el micrófono y participan. Vaya, ven, no ahí gustaría, no. pero no lo permite. Oh, sí, yeah, for sure. Ahí sí todos activan el micrófono. No, teacher. No le pagan extra, teacher. No, que no. no y, le, y les doy descanso, miren, les damos un break. Clase, thank you for participating. Practiquen el tongue twister. Para el lunes les traigo uno nuevo. So you can reinforce the pronunciation. Eh, luego les estaré compartiendo las reglas de pronunciación también, ¿ok? Para que pronunciación del simple pass, que practiquen también. So, class, it was a pleasure. We are going to continue on Monday. Have a good Friday and a good weekend, okay? See you, class. Thank you. Take Thank care. You, good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. No. See you next week. Sorry. Sorry. Don't worry. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.